Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew and this is the Just a Guy Linux YouTube channel. I'd like to thank you again for joining me today and for um, some of the kind comments and subscribers that I've uh, gotten in the last couple of videos. It's been really surprising and very, very nice. So thank you. Um, here's the continuation. So this would be uh, part two of the XFCE customize and modify. Um, so what we have done is we've put XFCE on Debian Bookworm, which is also Debian testing. Okay, and in, in the previous video, we you know we installed XFCE and did some modifi modifying. And in this video, we're going to kind of continue with that. So what I've done in the last like, I don't know, half hour is do a couple things that you should do now. And one is to run an update. So sudo apt update. I should have done this maybe on camera, but at the same time, this is not something that you need to, um, that you probably should do uh, in if you're following along with the video. So sudo apt update. If there are packages that need to be installed, do the uh, sudo apt dist upgrade and get your uh, packages up to date as possible. Okay. So what I want to do is add a couple, um, an icon theme and a GTK theme that are not part of the Debian uh, package repository. So we're going to do that. Before that, we're going to um, modify this whisker menu edit profile. Okay. So if I click on that, Notice it fails. So if I wanted to put my picture up here or change my name or anything like that, it was not going to let me do that. So what I need to do is I need to put two packages in uh, and install them. So sudo apt install mugshot and gnome system tools. Okay, good enough. So when I go up here now, and I click on my picture, or lack thereof, it shows that I can change this. So I'm going to just actually make my first name capitalize. And when I go to the picture, I can go and pick something that is appropriate and hit apply. And there you go. I'm going to hit apply again. And it's not going to be that you won't see the capital there, but when you um, log back in, it will be there. Okay. So I also want to do a user, oh, misspelled, user and groups. This is part of the GNOME system tools that were just uh, installed. So when I click on that, notice I've done this before. So I can't, I'm going to go ahead and delete this just so you get the idea. Uh, I'm going to delete. So um, let's say you're at your house and you don't want other people. Maybe somebody else is coming over or maybe even one of your, uh, like it's, let's say a roommate, a spouse, a son or daughter, anything like that. Anyway, you want to, you don't want to give them access to your custom desktop. So you would do is you would add a um, sibling and you would have another login basically for that person and hit OK. And then they could log in separate from you. And but they're not and they're not going to see the same thing that you would see. Uh, they're going to have their basically X, their XFCE uh, vanilla before anything got changed. OK, so there you go. That's one way to do it. OK. I want to go into my uh, website, uh, to the uh, browser, and I'm going to install, like I said before, two, um, two additional themes. One icon theme, one GTK theme. Okay, and here is the GTK theme, Fluent GTK theme. I'll have a link to this in the description below, and I'm going to copy that. 
and I'm going to let me go ahead and open another terminal if I well that's right here let me move it over there you go and let's go into the um, downloads directory and I'm going to go get clone and then shift control V to paste that oh there's something oh I guess I have that already let me go ahead and, and delete that must have that already under my downloads yep I do sorry and right, let me just do that so that you can see that it works all right and do it again I just hit up arrow and there you go it's going to download it to my downloads directory and I'm going to do one more and this is the icon fluent icon theme and I'm going to go to this and copy and get clone super control V and there you go uh, I did fail to mention one thing, okay? Um, I installed some nerd fonts. Uh, this was something that I've done in another video. And I will put a link to the GitHub page where it's located. Um, let me just show you real quick, GitHub. And then my GitHub is at Drew Griff. And it's in the Debian installers. And in this nerd font, basically what it did was it, it installed all of these nerd fonts uh, for you. And um, actually, if you downloaded this Debian installer um, in the last couple days, you'll, you'll know that this nerdfonts.sh file was included in that uh, Git clone. Okay. So what it did was it installed, like I said, all these nerd fonts. Okay. Let's go back to the downloads directory. No, oh, shouldn't have done that. Let me go back to, and luckily it keeps everything. So uh, let's do the, the uh, while I'm here, let's do this fluent icon theme and install it, okay? And in order to do that, we need to just go to the directory and do dot slash install dot, S, S, dot sh and then put a dash a, okay? So cd into the fluent um, icon theme, oh, icon theme, and then do dot slash install sh dash a, and it's going to install all these um, fluent fonts, sorry, not fluent fonts, fluent icons um, to the dot local share directory icon. Uh, and let me go back one and do the sudo cd into fluent gt g yeah, gtk theme okay and let's make sure we get everything that we need to off of that so it's dot slash install sh dash t for the variant and all so install sh dash t all okay and now I am done with this and while this is working actually I have to wait don't I all right give it another minute Good, and now I can close. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to open the file manager and put that over there. And we've done this before in, a diff in the first in the video last. And look at appearance, and we're going to window manager. Okay, good. And in order to change that of the, for the things that we just installed we want to pick a consistent uh, theme so I kind of like the 
is this I mean, this color here, like where this uh, Debian is, I'm going to go ahead and just say pink. It's pink. So let's go pink dark. Oh, wow. That changed some stuff, didn't it? And let's go to the icons, and let's also pick fluent pink dark. Okay. And let's go and to the uh, style for the window manager and pick fluent pink dark. Okay. Now, notice there's no pink here, but there are there is pink when you're talking about some of the accents and stuff like that. And if I decided to uh, and see the pink, uh, the check boxes, and everything, I'll go to icon view. Notice that the uh, the icons become pink. Now. Um, I, I kind of like the, uh, the list view, it's my, my preference, but if you like the uh, icon view, then by all means, kind of keep it. So what I want to do also is talk about fonts, okay? And this here, if you look at the fonts here, this is just sans regular uh, 10, okay? So let's say I want to change that. Okay, and I'm going to change it to something that is not very, that's different, okay? Notice there's Sauce Code Pro right there, all right? So if I type in Sauce Regular, and notice that I didn't even have to be, be that, like, accurate with it. Let's say I want that, and I want 10. Watch the fonts change here, okay? and it changed quite a bit, all right? Um, there's a bunch of them, like I said, I just installed, so you can go to, what were the ones that I st installed? So I'm gonna actually, let me go look at that real quick. Um, and let's go to mouse pad, okay. Hack in, in Iosevka, how about that? Let's do that, Iosevka, and then regular, and let's, bump it up just one or select. And I don't know if you like that or not guys, but if you if you do then kind of keep it otherwise you can go up one more. That's kind of cool. Yeah, let's do that. Notice also that it's changed in this. Maybe I don't like it as much as I thought I did originally. Um, how about jet brains and regular. Let's try that and select. Yeah, that's a little bit more spread out. Maybe uh, maybe it's too big even and select. Okay, and let's look at that. That looks pretty good. So let's also change the window manager. Notice that up top here um, is still like a sans type of font. And what you want to do is you want to maybe make it consistent across all and say maybe JetBrains regular and, yep, and I'm going to select that. Okay, so there you go. Changing the font. Um, I want to do two more things, um, actually three, So in, in this episode. So what we want to do is I want to open up the properties for this uh, whisker menu. And it's a really small, it's very small, this, uh, this icon. But what I want to do is I want to add icon and title. And notice application shows up here. So I'm going to actually just change it, and I'm going to put in a leading space, and then type menu, and then a trailing space, so that it has a little bit more room to breathe, OK? So now, when I click on that, it's the same, but I just added the word menu. And you can just, you could put anything you want there. Some people have heard this, will put start. Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna go with just menu. All right, and that's good. Okay, so also I wanna do is I want to look at the panel preferences. And I'm going to change this. This is a little bit small for me, so I want to bump it up to a little bit bigger so that it's higher, I should say, taking up more real estate, okay? And I want to also look at the, maybe the fonts, sorry, the icons rather, 
you can click on this and it will grow with the size. So let's let's go back and make it even bigger. I don't like it obviously, but it, you can do that. So uh, I'm going to knock it back down to about where was it before? I don't know. Let's say 30. Let's say 32. And if you want, also, you can just say, oh, I want 16, or maybe I want slightly bigger at 20. Again, this is up to you. So, you know, if it's like, oh, I like this, I like this, okay, then you're, you're good. I kind of like it a little bit on the small side, especially in this tray, okay? And we're good here. Let me look at this real quick properties and smaller if I make this smaller does that make it look better and again uh, personal preference okay so I also the only thing I want to do also is I want to uh, modify the um, clock okay and so when I go to properties um, this is the format but you can choose whatever format you want and I'm going to do a custom format okay and a lot of times someone will just you can do something really cool by just doing one thing and that's percent C and notice that it kind of um, it, it modified everything and it has a um, date and it has seconds and it even shows time zone so, um, you know, um, let me let me go. I think there was some one that I saw that I really kind of liked. So I'm going to go over to XFCE Clock Custom Format. Let me just see if I can find it real quick. Maybe it's this. Yeah, I kind of dig this. So uh, notice, I mean, let me show you real quick. I'm, I'm actually, I need this, don't I, dummy? All right, let's try that. I'm going to use that, and let me close it, and then I'm going to go and then paste that, and you'll see Wednesday, June 22nd, and uh, 6.45 Eastern Daylight Time. Okay, so what I can do so if, let's just say I want small a here to I want uh, it just to say WED instead of the whole Wednesday I can just put like small a all right and save a little bit of real estate you know I don't really care so I'm gonna put big a um, this dash D what it's doing is let's say it's June 1st okay um, that's two digits. It will say zero one, so June zero one. But when you put this dash D there, um, it actually makes it a one character. If there is only one character, like June one, it'll say June one, not June zero one. Same thing here. So it's a percent dash I, and it would say without the dash. Let me actually move it. It'll say zero six. So with the dash, it just says six, okay? So that's really a cool uh, custom format. If you want to, you can always modify this like anything else. And I will see you next time when we talk about um, key bindings and tiling in XFCE. All right, thanks.